Hello everyone, I am here for another review. This time we are looking at, well, um, you know, I don't read Japanese or you know many languages, but I'm pretty sure from my research these are called Godzilla Bandai SD figure collections. Um, boop. From what I know, these are Godzilla SD figures, and the SD stands for Super Deformed, and they are 1 inches. And from what I heard, this was made for the GMK film, I think. I have some here. I have four. I actually ordered two from the same person. I ordered th this guy and this guy, and instead of the person shipping them out in different packaging, they just shipped them both of them in one to me explaining why i have this bag because they came in a bag thank you seller and then i got these two from different people so yeah we're, we're gonna open the bag up several figures were made and i just got these because well actually i don't know see i've heard about these before and i'm like okay well they don't look bad and my opinions on them spoilers if you don't want to hear them but they're really good which one i'll review first here, I'm going to close my eyes. Eeny, miny, meeny, mo. I hope I'm pointing right. Mm -mm. Oh, well, I point. Okay, I'm going to look at the recording, see how bad I pointed wrong. But it appears our 2000 friend won. The 1999 version had dark green. 2000 had a bit of a lighter green. We'll do size comparisons at the end, but no articulation, no accessories, no none of that. Anyway, yeah, here we are with our first super deformed figure, and right out the bat, I just have to ask, what about this is deformed? I'm guessing this is referring to their chibi style or the fact that they have giant holes at the bottom of their body. That, that's the only reason I can see these being super deformed. Other than that, there's not really anything deformed about these. They're, these are in chibi style of the characters they are meant to represent. For paint, it is a very light green, dark light green if that's a color. His nails are this grayish white, so are his teeth. His uh, tongue is pink, or actually I think that's hot pink. I'll let you be the judge of that, but I'm pretty sure it is hot pink. His eyes are also pure white with the pupil being black. Then there's no dry brushing, and then the spines which are silvery purple. First sculpt, it's actually really good. As you can see here, it's very accurate. I like how chibi but accurate this is, and as you can see, there's his long neck, his muscles, every single scale was sculpted, his hands. His spines aren't really sharp, but they're, they still look fine. And then his big tail here, as you can see, his little feetsies, and then there's his beautiful face. That is amazing. And then we have the insides. Um, I don't think you... Um, there's not much in here. The figure's pretty much hollow. And if you were to search up these figures, you'll most likely see them being called finger puppets. And the reason why is because, of, again, of the hole. And they make really nice finger puppets, as you can see. Um... I don't think they were supposed to be finger puppets, but you know what? It still works anyway. I'm going to give our friend here a 10 out of 10. Everything about him is great. Next up, since we started with Godzilla, I think it's best we continue with Godzilla. As you can see here, our this is based off the 1995 incarnation. And some of these figures are just, you know, figures of the character. But some of these are based off moments in the Godzilla franchise. Like, there's also one of... Final Form Destroyer Dragging Burning Godzilla. That's one I'd like to have, but you know, one at a time. But this one is based off the Aggregate Destroyer's Climbing Burning Godzilla Attacking Him. Going over the paint, I like how it's this very dark burgundy. It's not it's not pure black, it's burgundy. If you put it under a light, it looks really cool. If you like stick the light source into his hole, and I have all my lights turned off, you can see it kind of gives him this cool glow effect, and you can see that it is kind of burgundy red. Anyway, his nails are also this golden color, which is really nice. They didn't have to. They could have just painted them yellow, but the golden gives it this pop that's just amazing this very dark orange on his patches of burns and spines i don't i'm not a fan of it i kind of would have preferred a very light color of orange but it's still fine and it kind of looks like he's losing power in this scene of the destroyers draining him so that's really cool his eyes are the same orange his 
teeth aren't gold, they are white, and then his tongue is pink. As for the aggregate destroyers themselves, they are this very burgundy color, as you can see. Um, I like how one thing that pops out about them is their orange metallic eyes, as you can see. And unlike the Burning Godzilla himself, they are painted in this glossy finish, which gives it a really nice effect in comparison to the Godzilla. As for Sculpt, it's really fine. It's rem very reminiscent of the Burning Godzilla. As you can see, there is his tail, which is covered by a mini destroyer here. I'll get into the destroyers in a bit, but you can see here there's his thick legs. There's his body, there's his head, and his face looks really cool. I really like how that looks. Then his spines, they're very soft, they're small. Not much you can do in a chibi design like this, though. Then his hands, which are right here. And then for the destroyers themselves, they're really fine. If it's one thing I guess I'd have to nitpick about is why their tails are so thick and long. But honestly, that doesn't really bother me. It's like a nice effect. Yeah, as you can see here, that's the case. So for our infested crab friend over here, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 as well. I don't really see any problems with him. And if you were to put this in a collection, he'd just pop from everyone, you know? Whether it be the glossy destroyers, the golden nails, the burgundy color, or the really nice atmosphere this figure gives. It's really nice. And if you know how to make dioramas, I'd really recommend you try it with this guy. Here is our Ghidorah friend looking very mean today. I mean, if we're paint, he's in this yellow, I want to say mustard-like color. It's not really golden, but it's a nice yellow, if I'm going to be honest. And there's actually some glitter sprinkled on him. His teeth are silver, and the one mouth that's open has a nice bright pink tongue, and then his eyes are orange with black pupils. Last thing to go over is Sculpt. Um, it's really fine. It's very reminiscent of Showa Ghidorah, and I want to say this is 1964 for a few reasons. Um, you can see the big wings were done really beautifully. The tails are very thick but long, or that could just be the extra plastic in between here. You can see the fur, or hair, or I don't know what to call it. The chest and body, the nails, as you can see here. And you have the beautiful heads, which were done really nice. You can see he's very angry. You have his horns up here, and then you have his mouth, and then his teeth, and then you have everything and every other little detail. However, this one is tight because this one is small, and I'll get into size comparisons later, but let's just say this guy's kind of tiny. So for our three-headed golden angry friend here, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 as well. And our last figure, and I think my favorite of the four, Space Godzilla. Space Godzilla. Now, there is actually a normal variant. It's pretty much this one, except his he's healed. He looks like normal Space Godzilla, and his colors are correct. However, as you can see, this is based off when Mogira blasts off his shoulder crystals, if you want to call them. And he's injured. He's damaged, from what I know. His name is either Injured, Damaged, battled or wounded space Godzilla. I don't know which of the four it is or I could be completely off and it's a different different name but for today's sake I'm gonna call him injured space Godzilla I guess that's really the only name I have for him uh for paint he's the most special of them all as you can see his whole body is this very purple color it's almost a purple burgundy as you can see the color is very dark and then you have his bright red metallic uh chest and then his nails are white his teeth are white his tusks are white this horn is yellow his eyes are a flaming orange and then over here for the crystals every crystal you have a very nicely metallic pinkish red color that also bleeds onto the figure and it gives them this really nice injured effect in a way as for the sculpt there wasn't much they could do especially in the movie you don't get many shots of this uh injured space godzilla but for what they did it's a not bad comparing it to the original if i had the original only difference is his tail is in a different position i think his hands are too and then obviously his crystals or shoulder crystals are gone and as you can see they actually sculpted that very nicely that looks so cool the crystals they are the best part about this figure. Look at that. Look at how the light reflects on them. That is gorgeous. For the actual figure itself, it's also very accurate. And for a chibi deformed figure, it's honestly really good. And I like these tusks. I like the face. Then you have the horn. Then you have the chest and the big old feet. The thick, hazy feet, if you will. 
and then again and then you have the long tail it's a beautiful figure and you got some spikes on his neck here then you have crystals and then inside there's really nothing else so for our dying red friend here i'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10 he is also really awesome and i like everything about him and again i said before he is my favorite of these four and i really like him and i truly recommend him i also recommend getting the normal space godzilla so for size comparison these are all one inch i'm not gonna get the ruler out they're literally just one inch and in terms of a size comparison of these four Godzilla 2000 is the biggest of the four and Ghidorah is the smallest and Ghidorah is actually the smallest Godzilla related figure I own the kingdom candy figures are bigger than it the pop keychains are bigger than it the playmates minis are bigger than it so yeah this guy is officially the number one smallest figure in my collection so hip hip hooray so overall the sd figures are amazing i highly recommend and yeah that's it thank you for watching see you all and this recording is 19 minutes even though the edited version is going to be shorter than that bye see you soon